So our guest now believes that a lot more could be done to teach up-and-coming artists about the music business. Writer, producer, and dancehall artist, Delhi Ranks is on the phone with us. Morning, Delhi. How are you doing, sir? Blessed love, Neville. I'm doing good. All is well with you, and I hope that you are safe where you are. Safe like Mulan Glass case. <laughs> <laughs> Um, before we talk about what's going on, what's going on with you, with music? Music, I'm doing music, producing, um, recording, performing, you yeah. know, right now I'm working on my brand new album, you know, it's called Big Time, so you can look out for that. When will, when will it be, when will it drop, as they say? Right now I'm in the, um, mixing stage, so I don't have a date yet, but it's a cup. Simone is with me. Delio here has grown so <laughs> long. Oh my God! Jeez. How are you doing, first of all? What's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm doing great and, and well, you know, taking care of the family and myself. Yeah. Staying safe and following the protocol, so I'm good. Yeah, how was 2020 for you as a musician? Were you one of those who were stuck in a non-creative space or were you one of those who were giving birth to music because you, you felt so creative? Well, I have my home studio, so I just see how I make use of it. But um, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and it never really locked down, locked down. You know, so sometimes we go out, they go all a vibe. Gotcha. Um, I wonder how much uh, in a year like last year, things like royalty and publishing would have played a part for a lot of artists who do not or could not go on the road because touring was not a thing. Um, and it yeah. kind, of, kind of brings the discussion we're having today into sharper focus. Um, where I, a lot of people who don't understand the business and don't understand um, the business of the business don't know that this yeah. is a really good way to earn when you cannot earn. So talk to me a little bit about how you learned the ropes of that. All right. Listen to this, Simone. You see, as I you growing up, big up Bojo Bantan, can tell me this. I'm always saying, make, a mu make music what can get 100% of listenership. Because if you make the music and... It only can play in the dance hall alone. If, if, if it's not playing in the dance hall, you're not earned. But when they make music, we can play on the radio. People can use it in a commercial, you know? Sure. People stream it and them think they, you're good. So the royalty always that come over. Right. So that, that, that was the problem for me. Still. So that lesson stuck with you. Is that a lesson yeah. that you think a lot of the, the younger folks coming into the industry now know, want to learn, have access to? Is it something that you, well, as, a, as, an, as a veteran in the business, that you try to share with them? And are they open to receiving it? Yeah, I, I try to share it to the youth with them, you know, because you can't hide the knowledge. Because the youth them now going to know if they don't know. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. So sometimes I reach out to some of them because um, some of the co-workers may bash them, say, yo, them youth just come and spoil the business and this and that. But sometimes they don't even know. As they say, the music... Them can't stay in them house and make a record and it's it. So you have to try to reach out to them sometime and, and, and show them the ropes and say, yo, other way you have to go. Yeah. This is the way. You said earlier that Bougie Banton said something to you. Outside of that, were you taught the business? Did anybody hold on to you when you just want to start and say, you man, here's no, what sir. you do? No, sir. So we'll get a fair share of beating. You know, we're publishing and anything there. Concern, you know, mm. because at the time we are trying to happen, and when you are trying to happen, you know, what your money part, you just want to happen because when you happen, it's going to come back. And a lot of the, 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 the folks with, with whom you, you work when you are trying to happen know that you're just trying to happen, so they take advantage of the situation. Yeah, I would, I would even say them take advantage, you know, you know, because it, it's in the inception of when you do the thing, you, you didn't know. You know? Yeah. And maybe them, they ever did know to them, they started the same thing and we learn on the way. Yeah. yeah. But the, the fact is that there are some folks in the industry who will look at an artist who, who they know does not have the knowledge and use it to their advantage. So, um, yeah, you have, you, have, you, have, you, have, you have bad people especially with, in with, this with, business, with intentions really. to, to yeah. take what you have. But yeah. them can't take it from a year one. Yeah. Correct. There was a point made which I found interesting. Um, and it, it says that you, you hear, like, I'm a new artist and I do something, and you, you feel his foolishness, and you curse me instead of calling me and say, Yo, um, yeah, good idea, but you could have done this a little better, or you should have done that. That happens a lot, doesn't it? Yeah.
Because I, I, I want to tell you thing about it too. Them you which are just staying at them out and make a music, you know, and them get net millions, you know. So if you're a curse, them, they're not going to take it because they're all right. So when you reach out to them and, and tell them, say, yo, here are my virgin. I like what you are doing because you sound good and all of this and you, you start dealing with them the right way. Most of them listen. But if you curse them, they're not going to listen because they don't really need you because they might, they might earn them bread. Yeah. Having said all of that, that maybe I should have started with this question. How the music now, in your opinion, um, what, what you're hearing now as opposed to what you used to hear? How, how the music now? Music of music, brother. Mm. See, because when we came out in the 90s, maybe the 80s people them, did not complain about our something. Yeah. Because you have to evolve, and most people don't want to evolve. Zane, because now, like they must say, shop music and this and this are going on. Music and music. From, from your met music and people accept it. Just work with the flow. Yeah. Don't try to bash down nothing. You know, the greatest thing what we can do is try to collaborate with them. Yeah, to bring and... the 90s to now and carve now to the 90s and make a nice flow. Correct. And, and now is a good time because so much fusion happening and um, innovation happening and and know that you have all these streaming platforms and so many opportunities to earn Delhi. It's a good time for the business, isn't it? Yes, it's great. Only thing that our, our co worker do is just make good music. You know? Well, make good some music nice is, and yeah. Good music is subjective, no? Not, not to me. <laughs> Everybody have an opinion. But because I guess it, I guess it, the good music it, really does, right? The cream rises to the top. It lasts forever. Good music lasts forever. So better we make last forever music. So when the next 20, 30 years from now, they can kick back with your grandchildren or your great grandchildren, you enjoy it. You can enjoy it the same way. Yeah. Yeah. My well, brethren, good to see you. Um, stay safe. Look after yourself. Look after your family. And I pray this year is going to be <laughs> your best year ever. Good to see you. That me I do too. I hear now. The people that I want to look out for the big video with me as Praga Ben. Hey! A, song called, a, a song called Big Time and the S20 rhythm. And I have a new rhythm coming called Ginger Beer. And the, the new album has come. All Ginger right. Beer so because murder. it's fire, Bridget. It's, it burns. Fire. Be yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got it, Daddy. I got Daddy it. Ranks. Good to see you. Take care. Listen, though. All Come right. Writer, producer, dance all RGs, Daddy Ranks. There you go. All right. It's all about fast hands. What? Neville Ant can be very fast, you know. You sure don't want to play that game? I will be, I'll go outside when you're playing. <laughs>